Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Chris here, and today we are going to look at another cigar. Um, I've opened these ones already, I couldn't contain myself, I was so excited when I got them, and uh, and then it was like, damn it, I should have uh, opened them up with you guys, And but we'll still do that, as all you're going to miss is uh, me trying to avoid cutting myself with this incredibly sharp knife, and, uh, and then we're going to look at them anyway. So... Uh, without further ado, uh, uh, what we have here today, and these are really, 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 really good. I have, uh, I had, uh, in fact, I had two of them um, almost a year and a half ago when I got these guys in, and um, I was down in uh, just outside of Tampa, and um, I was at a little cigar shop. And, and, you know, we had lunch there and everything. And I thought, well, I'm going to have a cigar. And I hadn't seen these ones before, so I thought, oh, I'm going to try one of these. Well, holy crap, it was so good. I bought another one. Uh, and I had that one later on, probably about two days after that, uh, kind of cruising around the beach. Um, and uh, I was able to secure myself a box of them. Uh, really, really, really nice cigar. Uh, just, like I said, I just... I got too excited and I unwrapped them already. Um, so sorry about that, guys. But uh, you're going to really like these ones. And this is the HC uh, uh, Series Habano Robusto. And uh, they are made from a company, and I'm, I know you've heard of them, called Zycar. And these are the El Corojo. Really nice cigar. So let's take a quick peek at these here. Put them on. Let's get this guy out of the way. And there they are, right there. Really nice box. Um, I believe it's a box of 20. And um, is it a box of 20? I think it's a box of 20. Anyway, um, we are going to add this uh, cigar here to your humidor as well because this is an incredible cigar. You're really going to like that. So let's, uh, let's take one of these bad boys out. Put that here so you can admire the beautiful beautiful box here i'll just kind of show you around it here it's just a basically just a black box so nothing too too crazy you get the stamp there and um but yeah and it says colorado robusto on it here but yeah this is the cigar here just an absolutely stunning stunning cigar and it's not that big either you know it's like I believe it's 4.7 inches um, in length. So just a really nice, easy kind of a, a, like a cigar to just kind of enjoy. And it's not going to take you, you know, an hour or more. It's actually, this cigar actually takes about 35 to 40 minutes to properly smoke down though. Um, but just a nice, nice little cigar here. But yeah, that's it there. Beautiful footband on it. Uh, nice little uh, band up top here, kind of give you a little roll around here. There you go. So I'll put this back here and we can talk about it. Um, yeah, nice, uh, like I said, just a really nice, nice pleasant cigar to, uh, to enjoy. There we go. Better. All right. Make sure it's in focus for you. Um, yeah, so like I said, the the, uh, the length is 4.7 inches. The ring gauge on it is a 52, and it's a medium to full. When I had it, I found it kind of sort of like that. Maybe a little on the full side, but yeah, medium to full. Um, but it's been sitting here for about a year and a half now in my humidor, so I, it's probably closer to a medium, but it depends on your, on, on your uh, strength tolerance. Uh, on it but oh my god it is so good you guys are really gonna like this one it's um the wrapper itself is a habano uh wrapper so a little darker uh wrapper just see it's just a beautiful oily oily wrapper there too eh and i love the background there on the box it just looks so cool um and it's right out of nicaragua um the wrapper itself is a nicaraguan habano uh the binder is out of nicaragua and the filler is out of costa rica uh, Honduras and Nicaragua uh, 
it it's it actually got a 92 point rating from Cigar Aficionado and was in one of the top 25 cigars of the year. So this is a this is no slouch. This is a really nice cigar, and I really enjoyed it. I'm sure you guys will as well. Uh, and I can't wait uh, to get this to you guys when we get to a thousand subscribers. Um, oh, it's so super exciting. You're gonna really like this one. Um, but uh, like the smell of it, like let me smell it again. Oh yeah, yeah, nice. It's got that smell of like a sweet sweet tobacco uh, flavors to it um, maybe a little bit of toffee in the background uh, and uh, and grass but not not like um, cut grass or anything like that it's kind of like um, if you're in a farmer's field kind of during the summertime and you've got that 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 hay the sweet hay kind of blowing in the wind uh, it's kind of like that kind of a smell to it um, just a really, really nice smell uh, to the cigar itself. Uh, easy draw on it, uh, on the pre-draw. Um, no, no hot spot or like hard spots at all, or, or like um, um, you know, like plugs or anything on it um, from the last time I, I had it. And and it was a nice, sweet, sweet draw to it as well. Um, and and it's just a really nice, easy draw. It's um, got like notes of like leather and cedar um, and definitely sweet tobacco for sure for sure about a third of the way down through it you're gonna get some spice but more of a cinnamon spice not a, not a dark pepper spice um, because it mixes really well with that sweet tobacco uh, flavors and uh, it's just such a really complex uh, rich and bold cigar so you, you're you're gonna really like this one so um, yeah nice 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 cigar and you can see on it here too eh? there's no no hard spots on it uh, no soft spots so no crunching other than the cellophane itself but you can see here that it's just beautiful and uh and just look at the beautiful oily habano wrapper on it eh just an absolutely stunning cigar um so let's i won't put that one in i'm gonna put this one in here because this one here i can pick out better let's uh let's put your cigar into this humidor humidor is nice and tight eh? like it's nice a nice tight seal on this one um so yeah let's let's drop this guy in here and uh and we'll add this to our humidor and maybe we'll do a little quick little review uh of what we what we have here so let's take this bad boy off and see here so we have the chillin moose this is a good cigar like I picked out some really nice ones here for you guys the last ones we had for my uh, 100 and 250 subscribers uh, were really 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 good and this just continues with that tradition um, this is the EP Carrillo uh, the Oscaro uh, Pyramidi uh, just a really nice cigar um, I should just stop saying that because they're all really nice cigars. The Alec Bradley Gatekeeper, um, a really nice cigar. <laughs> and I just love the wrapper on it too. Like it's just so cool looking. My wife is Greek, so it looks kind of not really. I guess sort of kind of Greek, but more of a Roman look to it. But I just I love that wrapper. Here's a really nice one here. This is the uh, the Gurkha. Um, uh, Widowmaker, really gonna like this guy. Nice big one here too. Uh, the La Aurora 115. And the uh, John Bull Dark Hour. Lots of really, really deep blue smoke on this one here. But just beautiful, so flavorful, it's crazy. Uh, this is a Monte Cristo Platinum. Um, this is probably one of my top, top 10, top 15 cigars I've ever had. Um, I mean, there's a lot of them there, some of my, uh, my, my top ones, but that was a nice one there. Um, this is the Partagas uh, Cifuentes. And then the uh, HC um, Series Habano Robusto. 
from uh, from Zycar. So, uh, so it's, this is a nice start here on this uh, humidor, uh, and for a chance to win this guy, um, all you got to do is like my videos, and um, and subscribe to my channel, just like uh, Lucky Ones uh, uh, did last time. So, uh, yeah. So for a, for a chance to win this guy, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care, and have yourself a really great day. Bye-bye.